Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Learn Middle Egyptian. So in the last episode we've seen how Champollion was able to decipher the Rosetta Stone by comparing the cartouches of Ptolemy and Cleopatra and he was able to identify a dozen unilateral uh, signs that are P T O L M E S E A D and R. After that, Champollion was convinced that hieroglyphs could be used alphabetically, at least for foreign names, though he still believed that they could also be read symbolically. The next step and the real breakthrough came when he began working on a cartouche with the following sign. From his previous work, Champollion was able to recognize that the last two signs are double S. So Champollion was seeking a value for the first symbol. And he thought of the sun, and the Coptic word for sun is Ra. This gave him Ra blank double S. And immediately it reminded him of the name of Ramesses, which was known from a list of pharaonic name in a Greek history of Egypt written around 300 BC. Champollion then noticed that the following sign in a hieroglyph group on the Rosetta Stone corresponds to the word for birth in the Greek text. Since the Coptic word for birth is mise, this confirms his reading of the name Ramesses. Ra, mes, s, s, Ramesses, meaning the son is the one who gave him birth. Champollion's discovery proved three things about hieroglyphs. First, they could be used as phonograms. This is the letter S. Second, as ideograms. This is Ra, the sun. And the language of hieroglyphic inscriptions was the same as the Coptic language. So with this foundation, he was able to make rapid progress in reading not only the Rosetta Stone, but other hieroglyphic texts as well. The announcement of his discovery in September 29th, 1822 marks the beginning of the modern science of Egyptology. I hope you liked this episode. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next episode.